Jane is a member of the uh, American Academy of Letters and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. She has written widely. She's won the, uh, her book, Lizzie Newton, which we were just talking about earlier, uh, won the Spur Award for the best novel of the West. And her novel, Horse Heaven, which we had a great we really love, was shortlisted for the Orange Prize. She has contributed to a wide range of magazines, including the New Yorker, Elle, Outside, New York Times, Harper's, American Prospect, Practical Horseman, <laughs> Guardian, Sport Monthly, Really Simple, and Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and during this fall, you were a blogger for the Huffington Post. I blogged for them for about uh, three years, actually. Wow. Pretty regularly. Are you, you're not blogging? Did you well, it's it? just, I didn't end it, but I had some books to write. I, oh, I yeah. had, <laughs> had to start writing for dollars. <laughs> rather than just out of pure rage. <laughs> so I haven't ended. I just had a blog in about a week ago, but um, I haven't ended. I'm oh, just sort of um, finishing up some books and then we'll go start it again. So we just had a, pr uh, a presentation earlier on blogging. So oh, yeah. that's, yeah, so I was thinking about you. Did you figure out how to get paid? That's the <laughs> <laughs> One of the things is, I, um, well, first of all, I wanted to ask you, since I knew that you were blogging on political issues uh, a lot for the Huffington mm -hmm. Post and really were getting bent to a lot of your feelings, <laughs> is George's, are the George's name in particular George? Uh, no. No. Because <laughs> the that way name just sort just of came up. into my mind, and I don't know how to do that. Uh, that came from, the, those, those of you who haven't seen this, um, that this is a, a story about a young girl, she's about 12 at the, at the beginning of this book, who, um, whose father is a horse dealer during the week and um, an evangelical preacher on the weekends. And if you see a contradiction there, you may, uh, you're right. Love of horses, even if they aren't, don't have much chance to, um, uh, to realize it in their own lives. They bring that to the, the books. And so they like there to be things to look at. They like there to be pictures. And, and one of the books I read as a kid was a book called Afraid to Ride by um, an author named C.W. Anderson, who was quite famous in that time. And this was just a book about a girl who fell off, didn't want to ride against, only about that long. And so she just took her horse for walks. And, and came to have uh, a relationship with the horse. And that's one of the, my clearest memories um, of all the books that I've read over the years. I forgot about those Anderson books. The, yeah, did they, did they have drawings in Yes, yeah, they, 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 they have line drawings, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he also wrote, drew covers for the New Yorker. I mean, he was, a, he was quite a good artist, but this was his great love, I think, was horses and horse books. I can still see them. Uh -huh. library, yeah. 